for this week's video on multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions. So this was a uh, viewer request and I'm going to include some exam questions within this. So what I've got here is once again a four step guide over here. So you can either get a screenshot or you can just copy it down and we're going to use these four steps in order to do any multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions question. So the first one that we've got here We've got 2x squared over 3 divided by 5x cubed over 3. So I'm just going to work on the through here. So it says, if it's a divide sum, change the sign to a multiply and invert or flip the second fraction. So it is a divide. So what I do is I change it to a times and a flip or invert the second fraction. Cubed. Then it says multiply the top two terms and multiply the bottom two terms. So the top two terms, if I do 2x squared times 3, I get 6x squared. And then if I do 3 times 5x cubed, I get 15x cubed. And then the next step says, can the numbers part be simplified? So if I look at it like a 6 over 15 fraction, well, both of those can be divided by 3. So the top becomes 2 and the bottom becomes 5. And then it says, is there a letter that appears on both the top line and the bottom line? Well, there is, because x is there and x is there. So it says, if so, score out the letter with the lowest power, which would be this one. So the x squared, I'm going to score that out. And then it says, deduct that power from the remaining letter. So it was a 2, so I deduct 2 from 3, and I get 1. So it's 2 over 5x to the power of 1, which I can just write as 2 over 5x. And that's our final answer. I'm going to do another example. So this time we've got another example. And this time it's a multiply. We'll just go through the four steps again. So it says, if it's a divide sum, change the sign to a multiply. Well, we don't need to because it's not a divide. So we just go on to step two. So if it's a, a multiply, it's really just steps two to four that you need to do. So in step two, it says multiply the top two terms and multiply the bottom two terms. So if I multiply the top two terms, C times 7D gives me 7CD. And then if I multiply the bottom two terms, I've got d squared times 2c, so it's 2cd. Then it asks, can the numbers part be simplified? Well, the answer is no, because there's not a number that they can both divide by. So 7 over 2 would just stay the same. I should have wrote a squared there. Um, then it says, is there a letter that appears on both the top line and the bottom line? Well, there is, because we've got D, <clears throat> so what it says is score out the letter with the lowest power. So I'll score out the top D, because that's got an invisible 1, and then I just subtract that 1 from the other one, so it becomes 1. And we know that 1 isn't really a power, it, well, it is a power, but you don't need to write it, so we'll leave it like that. And there's also a C that's on both the top and the bottom, and... Basically, because they're both the lowest one, they just both disappear. The C's cancel out. So the answer is just basically 7 over 2D. I'm going to do another example. Hmm. So this is our third example. And again, this is a dividing this time. And as I've already said at the beginning, all these are examples from either past papers and study books. Um, the first thing it says here is if it's a divide sum, change the sign to a multiply and flip the second fraction. So it is a divide sign. So I'm going to write it out. Change it to a times and flip the second fraction. Then it says multiply the top two terms and multiply the bottom two terms. So if I multiply the top two, I get 36u squared v. 
And then if I multiply the bottom two terms, I get 120 U V squared. So this is a bit more difficult. Um, so what I want to do then is I'll go on to the next part. So it says, can the numbers part be simplified? Now, some people would need to do this in a few steps, and that's okay. You know, so some people might just look at them and half them first and then half again. But I know that the top and the bottom can both be divided by 12. Because I know 36 can divide by 12, and I know that can divide by 12. So if I divide 36 by 12, I get 3. And if I divide this part by 12, I'm going to just get 10. And then it says, is there a number that appears on both the top line and the bottom line? And if so, score out the letter with the lowest power, then deduct that power from the remaining letter. Well, we've got u and we've got u squared, so I'm going to score out the u on its own. And that invisible power was a 1, so I just take away 1 from there. And then, oh look, I've got v on the top and v squared on the bottom. So I score out the 1 with the lower power, which is an invisible 1 there. And subtract one from there but really the ones in themselves just disappear because we don't need them so it's just really 3u over 10v is the final answer I'll just that's your final answer we'll do another one so this time we've got an example and one to note is they've used the letter s but just make sure you realize that's an s and not a five okay so as usual, it says if it's a divide sum, we change it, but it's not a divide, it's a multiply. So we use the second part there. So it says multiply the top two terms and multiply the bottom two terms. So I multiply the top two, so s squared times 3t is like 3s squared t. I've just written them in alphabetical order. And on the bottom, it's just st. Then it says, can the numbers part be simplified? Well, the answer is no, because there's only a number on the top and there's not one on the bottom. And then it says, is there a letter that appears on both the top line and the bottom line? Well, we know that T appears. Really, those can just disappear. So we can, we can get rid of those. And then we've got S squared and we've got S. So what we do is we score out the one with the lower power, which is this S. And then we subtract that one from this power, okay, just like that. So it's like 3s to the power of 1, but we can just write it as 3s. Okay, we'll do another example. So in this example here, the first thing it says is if it's a divide sum, change the sign to multiply and flip the second fraction. So it is a divide, so we change it to multiply and we flip or invert the second fraction. The next step is to multiply the top two terms and then multiply the bottom two. So 5p squared times 2 becomes 10p squared. 8 times p becomes 8p. Then it says, can the numbers part be simplified? Well, 10 and 8 can both divide by 2. So the top becomes 5. And the bottom part becomes 4. Then it says, is there a letter that appears on both the top line and the bottom line? And you score out the letter with the lowest power. Well, we've got p squared and p, so we can lose this one and then just subtract one from there. So it's really just 5p over 4 is our final example. Final answer, I should say. We'll do another example. So this example is a, a multiply, so we can just go straight on to step two. So you multiply the top two terms, so we've got x to the power of 6 times y squared. We just write it as x squared, x to the power of 6, y squared. Then we multiply the bottom two terms. So I always write them kind of in order, so I would write my x term first. So it's x cubed and then y squared. And then what it says is, is there a letter that appears on both the top and the bottom? Which clearly there is. So we score out the letter with the lowest power and deduct that power from the remaining. Well, y squared and y squared, they can just disappear because they're both the same. And this one here, 
we score out the one with the lowest power, so x cubed has got the lowest power, and then we subtract that power from there. So we do 6 take away 3, which is just 3. So my final answer is just x cubed. Let me do another example. So in this example here, so this looks quite long-winded, there's a lot going on there. We've got 2x squared, y cubed over 5, divided by 4x cubed, y squared over 5. So, as it says in the first step, because it's a divide, you change it to multiply. And you flip or invert the second fraction. Then you multiply the top two terms and multiply the bottom two terms. So it becomes 10x squared y cubed over 20x squared x cubed, sorry, y squared. It says, can the numbers part be simplified? Well, yes, they can, because we've got 10 over 20, and that can just simplify to 1 over 2. And then, is there a letter that appears in both the top line and the bottom line? Of course there is. So you score out the letter with the lowest power. So if I'm looking at the x's, I'll score out the x squared, and I'll subtract the 2 from the 3, so that just becomes a 1. And then if I look at this one, 1 with the lowest power is the y squared. So I'll score that out, subtract 2 from that, and just get 1. So really, 1y to the power of 1 is just y. And then 2x to the power of 1 is just 2x. And that's our final answer. So I'm going to use this example. This is probably the hardest algebraic fractions, multiplying and dividing that I've seen. So what I'm going to do, it is a wee bit different, but we'll go through the first two steps there. So because it's a divide, we change the sign to a multiply and we flip the second fraction. And then it says multiply the top two terms and multiply the bottom two terms. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to write them in brackets. So it'll be n bracket n minus 2 over, and I will say 3 bracket n squared minus 4. So what we can't quite do is this part here. So this is one example where it's just a little bit different. What we actually need to do is factorise that bottom term. So you might realise it's a difference of two squares. So what it really should read is n bracket n minus 2 over 3 bracket. That would become n minus 2 n plus 2. And then... There is a term that appears on both the top and the bottom, and it's the n minus 2. So that can cancel out there, and it can cancel out there. And then we're just left with n over 3 bracket n plus 2. And that's us. So please like, please subscribe, please feel free to suggest any videos you'd like to see. I will see you in the next video. Bye!